Brawl News. Brawl, Brawl News. News. We've got an event that's a very first for Brawl Stars. Brawl, Brawl News. News. A date was found that might be update related or just something important right around the corner. Brawl, Brawl, News. Brawl News. And much, much more on this episode of Brawl News. Brawl News. Brawl News. Brawl News. Now, before we get into anything, a quick word from our sponsor here today that, quite honestly, has been one of my favorite in a very long time. Today's video is sponsored by PMI LTD Kids World, and I could not be more excited. You guys, this is not a drill. This is the very first time in Brawl Stars history where Brawl Stars is going to have a toy line thanks to PMI. Dude, I've been waiting for this day. Box one. Box two. Dude, Brawl Stars figurines. Got El Primo, Leon, Spike here. You got this fun eight pack deluxe box with little tiny guys. Oh, <laughs> look at Colt. Oh my gosh. And I have this box here that I haven't opened yet. Kind of feel bad opening. I feel like I shouldn't be. This is a big deal, but I got to show you it. Oh. It's a ton of these little boxes here that it's more of like a mystery where if you guys didn't know some of these figurines are deemed more rare than others So it's a collectible thing and they even sent me a bunch of plushies on top of the action figures We have spike over here El primo upside down and even Leon dude, I've never seen a Leon plushie in my life. So sick. Oh, <gasps> there's a Mortis one. I need that one, dude. Now, things like this don't happen very much with Supercell IP, which is, of course, why this is the very first time Brawl Stars has had their own toy line. And I've been seeing some posts. You'll be able to purchase these in certain retailers like Target, on Amazon, as well as from Five Below, which is crazy, dude. I need to go and get everything. I need the Mortis ones. But yeah, everyone, of course, be sure to check out some of these new Brawl Stars toys and pick some up for yourselves. Check out that link in the description down below and pick some of them up for yourselves. Guys, I know we need some more things in the background. <laughs> also, be on the lookout. There's going to be a giveaway on the channel for some of these that they sent me, which is pretty hype. But to start things off here in today's video, we are taking a look at a particular tweet that came out two days ago over here on the Brawl Stars Twitter page to advertise the crazy, even harder challenge that came out a little bit ago. But of course, Accompanying this announcement, we got this amazing piece of artwork showcasing a ton of the content that came out in this most recent Season 15 update, but the most noteworthy thing coming from this photo is in the top right-hand corner of the screen. There is an advertisement for an ice cream there for $1.12, and guys, a, I've been playing this game and keeping up to date with update-related stuff, keeping guys in the loop for long enough to know that numbers are most of the time pretty dang important. <laughs> and not to mention, seeing that the numbers are so dang bizarre, I think this is an advertisement for the vending machine down there, right? It's right before the entrance to this vending machine. Why would an ice cream cost $1.12? <laughs> so of course, this got a ton of people talking inside of the community. Not only is this really, really strange, the amount, but it's also a perfect format for a date. Now, there's a few different ways to look at this number in terms of date format, depending on where you live in the world. The most popular popular way to see this in Brawl Stars artwork, seeing that most of it comes from Finland, is not what you would expect from seeing a date in the United States, for example, where I live, where the 1 would be the month and 12 would be the day. It's actually flipped, where 12 would be the month and number 1 would be the day, 12 being in the middle of a longer formatted date. So seeing that this is the most popular way to see dates in these Brawl Stars artworks, we could theory craft that this would be December 1st. First, or I guess by a slim chance, in my opinion, it could be formatted the other way, being January 12th. I think this could mean a few different things. I saw a lot of people thinking it was a Brawl Talk date, but I don't think that's the case, seeing that it's not necessarily falling in that window that we're typically used to seeing Brawl Talks come out before the actual update should come based on the in-game seasonal reset timer that we have. Also, we're kind of on a hot streak when it comes to Brawl Talks specifically coming out on a Saturday. It has now happened so many times that it is important for us to take that into account when it comes to predicting future Brawl Talks, which December 1st comes out on a Thursday. So I'm just ballparking here. My best guess
guess, or just my gut feeling on this date specifically, is what Paula and Danny were talking about in the most recent Brawl Talk when it comes to these rewards. And the most noteworthy article is the Omega Box Daryl skin coming out, and we should be getting some more info about the Omega Box itself around that time. Every single Christmas Brawl Days update, we tend to get quite a bit of free rewards in the fashion of daily free rewards. When we log in, we get something different, and then it accumulates into this bigger, most noteworthy prize at the very end. In my opinion, is probably going to be the Omega Box Daryl skin. So I got a feeling that also could be announced on this day as well as we're getting closer and closer to that Brawl of Days update. But hey, that's my best guess on a Easter egg that would be December 1st, right? I really can't think of that much more there. But with the Easter egg date out of the way, it is now time to get into a very exciting bit of news, and that is a very first for Brawl Stars, a specific challenge coming out on November 22nd, two days away from the point that I'm recording this video, that is a brawler specific challenge. Now the theme of this challenge is specifically dedicated to Nita this time around. Every single reward of this challenge is going to be a brand new Nita pin. Literally every single win you get in this challenge, you're going to unlock a new Nita pin, her entire pin kit. So it's going to be an eight win challenge with eight different pins that can be collected from this. So you guessed it right. We're going to have a different game mode for every single match of this challenge. Also important to keep in mind, if you already own one of the pins for the rewards, you're going to get fallback coins. So coins to reimburse that win. But getting into the specific maps and the rewards so you guys can get somewhat prepared here two days from now, the very first game mode is going to be knockout on gold arm gulch. The reward is going to be the sad Nita pin. But the second game mode and match is going to be on Brawl Ball post haste specifically. If you win, you get the angry Nita pin. Moving along to the third game, it's going to be on gem grab, specifically on undermine. If you win, you get the happy Nita pin. Moving along to the fourth game, this time on heist, where the map is going to be GG Mortuary. If you win, you get the GG pin. The fifth match is going to be on Bounty Outlaw Camp is the map. If you win, you get the Nita Clap pin. The next match is on Hot Zone, the map Street Brawler 2. If you win this, you get the Nita Heart pin. Oh my goodness. Moving along to the next match, it's going to be on Knockout. The map is Ends Meet. If you win this, you get the Nita Sweat pin or the Nita Few pin as they state. And then finally the last match is going to be on Brawl Ball once again, this time on the map Salmon Slam. If you win this, you get the Nita special pin. But if you happen to win this 8 win challenge multiple in a lot of different game modes, you're going to be rewarded with this special Nita profile pin, which is Bruce's Paw. Pretty dang exciting. Look guys, I'm going to be frank with you all. This is the type of challenge that I want when it comes to challenges. It's hard for me to get hyped up over a challenge when it comes to the end prize being a freaking spray. No hate on that. Sprays I've grown to like much more since they've been implemented, but the rewards for this one have so much potential. So if you already have a bunch of Nita's pins, at the very least, you're going to walk away with a good amount of coins, right? But for you free-to-play players out there or medium to low-range spenders who literally would never think about spending a gem on a freaking pin pack cosmetics, you now have the ability to get all the pins and pretty dang noteworthy pins for Nita here. So that's exciting in and of itself, in my opinion, but the potential for the format of this challenge, I think is even more exciting. I'm assuming they're going to continue with these types of challenges. I don't know why they would just do a one and done for Nita. And I would also assume that they would keep it towards the trophy road brawlers for the first ones. But dude, if these challenges extend to different rarities of brawlers, like can you imagine a Mortis specific challenge getting all of Mortis's pins? Oh my gosh, that is so exciting. How cool would it be to be waiting patiently and getting antsy over a challenge that would come out for your favorite brawler? A cult specific challenge to get that cult pew pew pin or a dynamite specific challenge to get that brand new dynamite special pin at the end. These are the type of challenges that I find the most compelling and I find it so exciting for the future of these challenges if they do continue. So of course, best of luck to all of you guys with this Nita challenge. 
challenge coming out in two days from now. Get those pins on you, dude, especially if you are free to play. And the final thing I wanted to bring up in this video here today is just a little bit of reassurance, seeing that I've been seeing it a little bit in the comments of my videos as of recently, asking where the predictions are for the Brawl Stars World Finals. They're on the way. I want to make sure to take my time with this one, seeing that I know a lot of you guys are relying on these predictions. The last thing that I want to do, even though it is a very real possibility, is to give you guys some bad predictions. Again, I want to dampen those expectations a little bit when it comes to these World Finals predictions. It's never easy. All these teams are phenomenal teams. They worked their butts off for an entire year to get here, so upsets are very, very easy to come across. But I'm going to be getting the most insight that I can for these predictions, not only numbers-wise based on results of each of these teams in their regions, but also reaching out to several different players, pro players, especially players competing in the World Finals to get their takes and their predictions, their actual predictions, what they would do for this Tara skin. So it's going to be coming from a lot of different people formulating into these predictions. So make sure to stay patient. I kind of wanted to do it like one-ish day away from the Brawl Stars World Finals because I am a little bit worried on the format of how the predictions are actually going to go. I don't know if they're going to be the exact same because with the last year's World Finals for the Cat Burglar Jesse skin, I actually was able to show you my predictions being made and the step-by-step -step process of it. But just to be safe, I think I'm just going to throw out the predictions there. You guys can write them down and try to navigate the website for yourself. But we'll play it by ear. I know I'm rambling a little bit, but I'm taking this pretty dang seriously here. But of course, be sure to stay tuned for those. Those are right around the corner. The Brawl Stars World Finals is very closely approaching and it's getting really, really exciting. I'm not going to lie. But yeah, everyone, hope you all found this video useful or just enjoyable. Nonetheless, if you did, make sure to slap a like on. I really appreciate that. Have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day. Keep having fun, Brawl Stars, and we'll see you all in the next one. Adios and take care.